Hi, this is Terry from Terry Johnson Creates, and I want to show you how you can create your silhouette cut files for your machine embroidery appliques in the Masterwork software. I've opened a little design here called Firecracker that I created in BES lettering. And if you come over to the right hand side here, you're going to see your stitch sequence view. It's very similar to what we do in BES lettering. Come to the first color sequence, which is the placement stitch for your fabric. You're going to right click on that and say hide other. Now when you do that, it selects just the portion of the design that is the placement for your applique. Now you want to deselect the um, item because you don't want those black boxes up around it. And I'm actually going to change the color of this to something darker because that's not going to show up very well. All right, so that's a little bit better. So I'm now I'm going to deselect it so I don't trace the um, select box. And I'm going to come down here and grab my snipping tool in Microsoft Windows. And I'm going to drag my cursor. Whoops, let's try again. Let's get a new snip. And I'm going to drag my cursor around this firecracker portion of the applique and this is what I get now I'm gonna to go to my silhouette studio software right click and paste that image in there this is a JPEG image it is not a cut file so at this point what you have to do is trace it you go to your trace window you select your trace area what we want to trace is the firecracker here for our applique drag that trace box around the applique portion of your file. Try not to get the outside part of that JPEG because then you'll get lines that you don't want. And we're going to increase our threshold up to about 50 here. So we get a nice, whoops, 51 is too much, a nice crisp yellow line and we're going to click trace outer edge. It's important that you create, that you click trace outer edge and not trace or otherwise you'll get a double line. Alright, now I'm going to drag this off and delete it. I don't need it anymore. I'm going to go over here to my grid setup and turn off that grid so you can see things just a little bit better. Turn that grid off. So here we have a cut file for the applique. Now when I size it, it's actually in inches and I think it works better to work in um, millimeters. So I'm going to come down here to my preferences, go to measurements, and switch to millimeters. All right, so you can see it's 12305 by 11502. But if I go back to my Masterworks software and click on this one, you're going to see it's 69.1 by 73.7. I want to add one and a half millimeters to that marking. So that's going to make this 70.6 by 75.2. All right, I always have trouble remembering those. I'm going to go to my size window here, excuse me, in the wrong one, size window. We're going to be 70.6 by 75.2. So what that does is allow, it adds 1.5 millimeters to your um, cut file so that you can be sure it's caught when you're doing your applique. That's it. Now it's the correct size and you can cut it. Now this design has more than one portion to the applique. If I go back here and say show all, actually it doesn't. I thought it did, but it doesn't. These are not appliques. These are just stitch files. So now you'd be all ready to, to cut your applique design in your Silhouette Studio. If you wanted to um, cut a whole page of these, if you're going to do, be doing a whole bunch of them at once, you go to your object window, replicate, and drop down here to fill page. You've got a whole page of firecracker designs. You send to your silhouette and you're ready to cut. I hope this helps show you how to, you can do your applique cut files in Masterwork software. Thanks. Thrilled. They were absolutely thrilled.